At the age of 17, I became determined to solve a prevalent issue within the oil and gas industry related to subsea oil spills. At that time, I was living in the energy capital of the world, Houston, Texas, and there had recently been a catastrophic environmental disaster in my backyard of the Gulf of Mexico, which had dominated headlines in the area. The Deepwater Horizon spill was an incident which released an unprecedented volume of 800 million liters of crude oil into the ocean, contaminated 1,800 kilometers of coastline, and cost $60 billion in fines. The result of what, the result of what unfolded during these, three month, during these three months of continuous chaos would have unknown long-term impacts on the livelihoods of the local residents along with the region's rich, productive marine ecosystem. The outcome of the spill was more like an epidemic, as President Obama said, one that we will be fighting for months and even years. My involvement came through the Science Fair program, where as I pursued my research, my perception began to change. I realized that in addition to the very large spills, there were smaller spills occurring on a daily basis all across the globe. This further captivated my interests, and in response, I developed a subsea capping device which separates the oil and gas phases into homogeneous mixtures at the source of a spill. This allows the phases to be recycled immediately, and the idea is to have an effective temporary solution in the case of an unforeseen oil spill. This participation at the science fair level introduced me to the possibilities of making global change. It has given me the confidence to pursue my ideas while also showing me the value of interdisciplinary collaboration through the private and academic sectors. I believe advancements in the clean energy sector are being held back because we are not taking full advantage of the largest population that can contribute to innovations and developments in the industry. This population is, of course, represented by the youth. Young people have the skills and ideas to create change, and when we are given the opportunity to organize, speak up for what we believe in, and develop innovative solutions to the problems that we face, we can be an instrumental catalyst for change. This involvement is the only way to sustain the transitioning energy profile that we are currently experiencing, one that focuses on clean energy. Being young offers a different vantage point, fresh ideas and new ways of analyzing problems to find solutions, and I cannot emphasize this enough. We need to find ways to encourage youth involvement and allow the next generation of leaders to be creative in the STEM fields. There are many paths to resolution, and even seemingly small actions right now can contribute to solving issues that are bigger than ourselves. If we energize today's youth, the potential for research and development will rise at an exponential rate, and we will open up the industry to a multitude of new and novel, solu novel solutions. This begins by giving young people the space and opportunity to become leaders. After all, I was only 17 years old without a degree to my name and was able to learn the material I needed to know in order to create my device. <laughs> and now this device has opened up my prospects of exploring other issues that we face. Last year, the United Nations recognized 17 young people for their leadership in advancing the Sustainable Development Goals. I'm proud to be one of the United Nations Young Leaders, and it has been an opportunity for me. Thank you. And this opportunity has given me the ability to continue making a difference through this role. The next call for applications is opening shortly, and if you believe in the power of our generation to create impactful, lasting change, look out for a special announcement on Saturday from the UN Youth Envoy. As the next generation of problem solvers and world leaders, we have the power to create a global movement. And with each individual contribution, together, we embark on a journey to propel the, the clean energy revolution and advance our common humanity. Thank you.